CJ Friedel, outfielder on the Cincinnati Reds. CJ, great to have you on, man, making your FT Live debut. Yeah. How you doing? Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, dude. It's great to be here. And also, we brought some some friends that are known around these uh, streets pretty good here. <laughs> some local faces, pretty pretty known. <laughs> right? <laughs> do you guys, do the players in the club, especially with a team like yours that's so damn young, do they know anything about the history of the Reds? Oh, yeah. yeah. They do? I mean, you're... You're pretty well informed in this this historic franchise from the beginning, all the special moments. And, uh, I mean, they got this Reds Hall of Fame over here, which is, pretty, like, unbelievable. I've been through it a couple times now. Um, you know, and I think just baseball names. Baseball players knowing baseball names. It's, yep. it's, it's pretty known. So, yeah. Do you have, like, anybody in mind that, you know, besides <laughs> us two, is there any, like, <laughs> Reds Hall of Famers you're like, man, I, I can't wait to meet them? And then did you end up meeting any of them yet? I think for me personally uh, – it was pretty cool having ED and Barry oh, Larkin because when I signed here in 2016, those two were actually uh, like coordinators helping out uh, all through minor league camps, minor league spring trainings. So, like ED was the outfield coordinator. Uh, Lark was the infield coordinator. So, I mean, they were all throughout minor league spring training. Then they'd come around during the season to every affiliate and kind of stop by. And, you know, for me, it was kind of like, listen to them, like, damn. That's pretty sick. <laughs> there ain't many people cooler than Eric Davis no, either. No, I mean, he's as, he's as cool as a pill, man. He's, he's coming in with the with the Adidas old school yeah. jumpsuits on and everything. Yeah, that's, that was my mentor coming up, man. There is nobody better than him. He man. was stupid talented, yeah. too. Like, I mean, only injuries held him back. Well, you, talk about Acuna so much. I mean, Eric Davis was that guy before he got hurt. Yep. The, the guy with the stolen bases and the power. power. It's crazy. Where were you in 2015 when this dude won the All-Star Game Home Run Derby? Uh, I was still in college. I signed in 16, so that was my sophomore year of college. But I remember watching it. I never would have thought I'd be playing on my on that field as my home field. But uh, I remember watching it. You know, I remember the celebration, the bat flip. Like, I, isn't I that still, cool to hear? Dude? I still get goosebumps. You get goosebumps. I, I get goosebumps. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> just talking about it. I yeah. get goosebumps. Just, yeah. just, no, just like you. <laughs> I, thank you so much. Along those lines, I brought up my first time doing the radio. I saw you before the game, and I want everybody to know this. I came to you, and for some reason, I just had a premonition. I'm looking to the gods. I'm like, this guy's doing it today. I, I said, I'm yeah. calling his shot. He's hitting a homer That's today I to, right, to yeah. right field. Yeah. And my man gave me some love after the game. Tell, tell us about how that all happened. Oh, I, got, I got to get some love here for you. No, it was sweet. We were in Baltimore, and, and like you said, we were walking the bus and uh, catching the bus, and he kind of just stopped and, and looked at me and made, made a comment. He's just like, I got a good feeling about you today. I think you, you, you're my pick to click. You're going deep. And in my mind, I, I, I don't know if I was swinging a good bat at that time or <laughs> maybe struggling the past couple of games. But some of mine that's like, uh, I hope he's right. <laughs> that, <laughs> hey, that'd be pretty sweet. He had Didn't a really good game. At, yeah, he, I, he, I was yeah. looking for him for he like He pointed 10 to me in the stands like, <laughs> yeah. like I felt like, what's his name? That hit the home run um, with the – with the, um, what's the movie? He broke the bat, hit the home run. Broke the bat. Oh, man, what's that movie? The guy hit the home run, he broke the bat. Whatever. The natural? The natural, the natural. Uh, yeah. yeah. I felt like that guy right. picked me a winner, Bobby. Yeah. Like, and I picked him the winner right there. So it, was, it, it was, took me a while to figure it out. But it was yeah. pretty sweet. I remember I was sitting after I hit it and I was like walking through. I did the whole Viking thing. Then got back to the helmet rack. Let's put my stuff away. And I'm looking all through the press box behind the plate. I'm like looking through every single press He's box. Looking. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then I just see him standing up. He's waving. I was going like, like that. That's my guy. Like, That's my guy. It was a great. So, it was fun yeah. to watch, man. That was sweet. Didn't that happen last year with – with one of your teammates with like Larkin gave a tip to someone. Is that ringing a bell? Yes. Um, yes, probably they did. And he did you know the same thing. He about? pointed up. Yeah. Yeah. Pointed up to Barry. Barry said something before you know the game to him. About, right? I, I know some, exactly what you're talking about. Some kind of juju around. You just feel it. And yeah. It just yeah. happens. Something with like the broadcasters though. Yeah. yeah dude. I and remember you, that clearly. You just get that little inkling. You, and you yeah. can't, you can't yeah. just be like, since you're on the show, you're going to hit one. Like, I was going to say, what do you got? I got, I got, I got a double and a single for you today. If you want the truth. I'll take that. I can't, I can't, the, can't, can't be the pick the click. No, nah, it's, that's easy money. Get a dive and catch. <laughs> no, yeah, that's easy money. I ain't got to worry about that. No, that, that's I mean, good that's, stuff. Yeah, I've done that quite a bit. So. <laughs> I feel like that's on tap too. So we'll how's, see. how's the energy in the clubhouse right now? You guys are half game out. You guys are pushing. You guys probably in the beginning of the year, probably like, Hey, Let's just play it out, see yeah. what happens. Yeah. And now, boom, you're right in the thick of it with 12 games left with a good Twins ball club, man. Mm -hmm. Is it one game at a time? Is it, yep. hey, man, you need to do it? No, you have to stay in that realm that you guys always have. No, that's exactly it. I mean, like you said, the beginning of the season was like, you know, we all got the same goal, same mindset. Like, for us, it's never been a rebuild kind of year. It's like, no, like we got a good ball club. We got a lot of good guys. Like, let's go out there, play each game hard, and we'll see where we're at at the end of the season. That's kind of been the mindset taking it one day at a time, put your head down, go to work. Um, and, you know, now we're here. We're half game out, and, and it's it's a crazy tight race in this wild card right now. 
but you can't ask for any better position to be in than, than every single inning, every single out, every single pitch matters. And were you offended you at the beginning of the year because you were with this team since the jump and a lot of the guys got promoted and have joined as the season has gone on? Were you offended that, you know, like a lot of people predicted the Reds to be towards the bottom of the division? I mean, and some of it has to do with, yeah, like they were like, oh, there's, there's a ton of talent coming up, but mm -hmm. it's not happening yet. Do you see any of that or hear any of that and go like, screw you, we're better than you think? Well, you know, I think you know, last year was tough. Like, there's no denying. Yeah, that. of course. That's, you're losing 100 games no matter what's going to be tough. You know, battling injuries, trading guys away, beginning of the season, deadline. Um, you know, kind of the second half of the season was we were just really young, had guys battling injury, trying to find that identity. Uh, and, you know, for us at the beginning of this year in spring training, you're obviously going to see that. It's, it's all over social media. Sure, you're not from New Jersey, you know. <laughs> He's got that coy attitude, you yeah. know. And yeah. Well, he coached the Nets. Oh, yeah. yeah. So He's got a little jersey in him. Yeah, No yeah. doubt. Yeah, no doubt, awesome. but I loved every side. He showed me he had a place in Lavalette, which is 20 minutes from me. Um, just a beautiful human being. He's one of a kind. He's awesome. <laughs> you ever, have you ever family parties who's been around those? No, he, uh, we actually just had a, like a big family reunion in Pittsburgh when we played in Pittsburgh. Yeah. It was actually on my birthday and we had a lot of family come out and he was going to try and make that as well. But summers are just super hectic for him recruiting and then starting up school again and getting the guys on campus. So this time of year gets really intense. So it's hard for him to kind of get out and get around. That is kind of a big deal, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> getting school going again. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you got everyone coming in, getting everyone settled and then adjusting to practice. So I'm sure he's got a handful. Yeah. So why'd you cut the locks? By the way? Oh, dude, I was so over it. Yeah. I so I, I had that long hair since COVID. I actually started growing it out at the alternate site in Mason in 2020. And I'm like, I'm just gonna let my hair grow out and see where we go. And I let it grow out and I liked it, tw had a 21 all last year. And then like, I always played with it down. And then this year in spring training, I was talking with Fraley cause he wore it up in a bun. And so I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna try it. So I put it up in a bun and I played with it up. And I'm like, ah, I kind of miss like playing with it up and stuff. And then as the season went on, then it got hot and it got humid. And I felt like a dog in the summer. And I was like, got to the point where I'm just like, I want to go back to my short hair. And so I just did it. That's a great explanation, by the way. <laughs> I, I was just, I, I was hoping it wasn't because you went over 10. No, you're in a slump and no, that no, happens no. all the time. Though, all the guys. time. Yeah. No, no, I just, I don't think my hair causes my performance. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. I, Unless I, it was I, getting in the way of your eyes. That, yeah. Okay, that's, that's very true. <laughs> Unless it was physically affecting yeah, my performance, physically, yeah, then yeah. that's a different story. But I just, I was so over it and I had been over it that I just did it. Some relievers have told me I've, that it's distracting for hitters if they've got super long hair and it's you know like the josh hater thing i, I don't know if that necessarily means anything but they at that. least think that like right? you could hide the ball a little bit longer yeah, behind the yeah. long hair I, mean, was, I mean last year i got a hit by pitch because of my long hair so oh did it hit yeah. your hair yeah That's so a first. I was like, <laughs> never heard it, that. it was crazy it was at the end of the season we we're playing the brewers and i think ashby this lefty from milwaukee was throwing yep. he throws fuzz balls and and i remember he came up and in with one and i came here and i tried to get out of the way and you know, I didn't feel anything. And so I kind of, you know, was on the ground and the DB was the replay. He's like, Hey, hold up one second. And they're like looking at it. And then he challenges it. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, where did that, I would have, it was like 96. I would have felt it if it yeah. hit me. <laughs> like, I would have known if it hit me. And then they're showing it on the big board and you just see my hair. As I go down, my hair comes out to like here Wow. and it buzzes my hair. And I looked over at DB and I'm like, does that count? And he's like, yeah, it's on your body. And I'm <laughs> like, counts. all right. <laughs> then I go down to first base. I'm like, sick. <laughs> that's great on base percentage it's sick yeah chalk it up <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny who are you hanging out with like when you're on the road after games like who, who are some of the guys man like we've talked about a lot of them are new but, yeah yeah um, there's some turn you know there's some guys that have that were with you the last you know year or so yeah uh you know it's we're all really close but i, I think like for me uh it's you know fraley spencer steer india senzel uh but like it's always a mixing group, right? So, like, we're we'll always go out to dinner. We we'll always go do stuff you know, on the road. It's just you, unless you know you got family or wives in town. Um, but like, with the road schedule, you just try and get out and do whatever you can, go get food and whatnot. So, uh, you know, we have a really, really close group since spring training as well. Like, we got some new guys in Newman, and uh, you know, we'll, when we had Will Myers and spring training, there's normally a transition period where it's getting to know guys, and it's like a little bit of trying to learn who guys are. But I remember in spring training with this group, it was like clicked really fast which was awesome so we've been we've been close let me ask you this clicking yeah. real fast how about on the airplanes is there 
is there any card playing going on on there? Yeah, yeah. There's Little, some... what, what type of games you're playing, man? How, how's that been going for you? Uh, I used to run those. I, I used to be the, I, yeah, any team I was on, I used to run. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's some, there's some cards playing. There's, uh, Omaha, okay. uh, hold them, 357. Um, 357 was the yeah, game. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. So, so people understand 357, you can bluff here. They ask you, you say one, two, three, drop. And out of your three cards you have, or five or seven as the hands go on, yep. you can bluff because three is three will be the wild card. Yep. So three can be any. And then when you have five cards, five, then you have seven. It's a seven. Put the hands out one, two, three, drop. Are you a bluffer or are you, are you a guy nah. that, that if, if you have the hand, you're like, all right, you know that guy. If he has the hand, you're yeah. probably going to lose. Yeah, no, if I'm if, if I'm playing, I'll play pretty true to my cards. Okay. Because, you know, my heart will start beating. And, and then it's, money starts no, getting a little higher. And then, it's always, and then it's always a time when it's like, if I bluff, I know I'm going to get called out. And someone's going to hold the gas cards. Of so it's like I don't want to risk that. See, I, I was I was the the crazy man that would bluff every once in a while. Yeah. And if I got away with it, you like living life on the edge. Yeah, exactly. the last, hey, They're like, let's see him. I'm like, no. I would. I had a better <laughs> never, hand. Get out of here. Never yeah, show yeah. the cards. Never show. Yeah. And then you show the one. You're like, hey man. There you go. I had three aces. Sorry about it. But the other one, now nah, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna muck that <laughs> one. Just give me my money. So sometimes always, sometimes you keep them honest. And yeah. other times you don't let them see it. No doubt. I respect No it. doubt. Now, is it a bunch of guys playing or no? Um, is it usually the same four or five, six also guys? wants to know There's if he a... can get in on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You just hop on the flight with yeah, us next year. Exactly. Uh, yeah. There'll be like, there's a couple of tables. You know, we got some guys playing dominoes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So they'll play. Latin guys playing then, dominoes? Yeah, yeah. Of course. And then we'll Latin get, guys always like, love those dominoes. I remember like Johnny Cueto. Oh, my God. He was phenomenal at it. Yeah. No, we got that's we got like some dominoes play. We got a, a table in the back, table in the front. So it's kind of just like a rotation. Guys hop in and out. If you want to play, some people yeah. want to sleep. So and that's like show playing, or is it three and three? You got the show playing? Yeah, right. yeah. You yeah. want to know what we played? What well, dice? We, well, we used to get meal money. You, do, you guys don't get meal money. Not no. anymore. No, we get ever since COVID, we get like a like a card, like a de- prepaid debit card. Oh, wow, they it's, just, it's big they just loaded up on that. It used so, to be like one hundred and eight bucks a day or something. Yeah, so yeah, we would get the. Just, it's more on the food, right? Yeah, yeah. We would much. get those the, the banks envelopes and with just hundreds in them. So <laughs> we'd get a coin and flip the coin heads or tails you go one guy like me and guess sean casey whoever wins that 10 and, game roadie you're, you're taking home like oh 1200 dude like it was so <laughs> legit and dude, we that's, that's like high court i yeah, love that it even yeah. got so bad that we bought a, a two-headed quarter and just wore casey oh. out <laughs> wore sean casey out he did not know for the longest time hey it's so many <laughs> quarters yeah, yeah. catch it yes hey, he did oh not catch God. it. think about this back in the day when you got the envelope uh gary wayhoff who's the travel gary, secretary yeah. You know, they're not stupid either. So they give you the envelope and it wouldn't be sealed. It's open. So now when you take it out, he's looking for that yeah. tip extra give long. You got to make sure you yeah. grease them a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So now when you get the card, it's like, here, Gary, just take the damn card. That's Here's the I, card. Here's the card. That's Thank what I would you. do. Yeah. Take the physical oh, yeah. card. Just have it. Yeah. Waiting yeah. for that grease at the end of the day. So oh, it's, oh, it's bringing, just bringing back some good old times that we used to love. Dude, how about we play for whatever you're making today and whatever I'm making? We'll flip a coin right oh. now on TV. Right now? Yeah. <laughs> be your so TJ. Please. Oh yeah, no, you're no, no, I'm not in. You're TJ. No, no, no. I want to no, see you this. I want to see this action. This <laughs> no, I want to see this. Right <laughs> How about all three of us? We'll I hope t- we have. A, I hope we have a quarter. No, we should. We should. I don't have a quarter. At the end of the program, we might have to do. Oh, it. let's do it. We'll do it at the at the very end. We'll have he'll watch it. We'll post it on social. We'll and double check. Double check that it's not a double sided, double headed coin. That's true. Now he knows. Now he knows. All right, so your your teammate Andrew Abbott's coming through. So oh, we're going to swap you out, but okay. give us one question we got to ask Andrew. What do we got? Like, give, give me you, yeah, give me something, something we don't know about. Some, something scouting report wise that we got to ask him before he gets here. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> there goes the coin. I'm trying to think. I got it. Oh, ask him how he's doing on his uh, on his rookie duty. Just like bringing uh, bringing uh, bringing okay. beer. Okay, okay. gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks for coming on, man. We'll do it at the end. Yeah, all right. Hey, thanks. Thanks for coming on, man. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Good luck. Always fun, man.